Hey guys, I'm David and welcome to Out of Box Collector where we unbox and review different kinds of collectibles. Today I have another band press to figure to share to you guys. This is Giyu Tomyoka from Kimetsu no Yaiba or Demon Slayer as we know it here. This is one of the most requested figures in my channel. Sorry it took a while for me to create this review. I actually had this figure for a while now but I just didn't have enough time to do a review about it. So anyway, I'm really excited to see what the figure looks like. So, let's unbox the figure. So this is the figure. This is Giyu. This is one of the figures that I was looking forward to on getting when it was announced. And finally, it's here. So, uh, it took a while for this figure to come because this came straight from Japan. So this is the front. As you can see, this is Giyu. And you can see the Bandai and Banpresta logo and the Demon Slayer logo. This is the side, so you can see another photo of Giyu. This is the back, and it has another photo of him uh, together with the uh, Bandai Spirits uh, writings on it. Uh, this is the back, and it shows the figure A, which is Inusuke uh, in Sepia version, and uh, the figure B is this one, so this is Giyu. So this is the top, it has three security seals together with the uh, Aniplex logo and the Jaya logo and this is the bottom so it says uh, the Bandai Spirits uh, writing so I can't read Japanese so I don't know what's written underneath but anyway it has three security seals so let's unbox the figure okay so this is what this, this is new so we'll have, we have different QR codes for this figure and okay okay so far it looks really good okay his sword is a bit bent though but it's okay okay his head looks really good okay let's take him out of the packaging first so this is what we get from the box so let's put them all together so first we get the head, so far it looks really good. Uh, okay, the peg is on the neck and you have you just have to slide it in on the body. Okay, so far this figure looks pretty good, looks so cool. Mine has a bent sword because of the packaging but it's okay, it goes back to where it's supposed to be if you just move it like that. and. The peg on this figure is on his feet and it only goes one way on the base so there's no way of there's no way of um, displaying him without the base so you have to put it in like so and there you have it so, I'm really loving the figure so let's take a closer look at the figure so this is the figure this is Giyu and it looks so awesome Okay, I'll show you the OOB 360 of the figure first before we take a closer look at the details. And man, it looks very nice. Okay, before I forget, the figure stands at around 7 inches from the base to the head. So let's take a closer look at the head. And man, it looks so awesome. Okay. You can see his serious stoic facial expression. You can see his bright blue eyes. His hair is actually um, dark blue or dark gray, depending on the lighting. And it looks really good. Uh, his uniform looks great uh, it's all in black the one inside and you can see the buttons uh, his sword okay mine my figure like I said earlier it's a bit bent due to the packaging but it's okay uh, it looks good uh, it has the same color accents as the other as this side of his robe it's in a maroon color and you can see the blue diamond accents on his 
on the handle of his sword. The sword can be taken off. And uh, the belt looks good. The pants looks good. I really love the sculpting of the of the fabric. And the things on his legs uh, looks good. I don't know what you call those. Uh, his slippers looks good. It has those blue accents on it. Blue strap on it. And his socks are in black. And let's take a closer look at the best part of this figure. His coat. Okay, they really nailed the paint and the pattern on this figure. I don't know how they painted this one, but it looks incredible. It looks amazing. And uh, I really love the greens, the yellows, and the oranges. And of course, his hand. You can even see the bottom part underneath looks really nice the way they sculpted the flowing of his coat and of course the other side is just in maroon and still looks good and man this is an awesome figure overall i'm really happy with the figure ever since they announced this figure i really couldn't wait to get my hands on it uh the way they sculpted the figure his pose, of course, it's just a simple standing museum pose, but it's okay. Uh, they really captured the character uh, real well. His signature look, his uh, half printed robe and a half uh, solid color robe looks amazing. If you love Demon Slayer or Kimetsu no Yaiba, I highly recommend getting this figure. So far, this is one of my favorite figures from the Kimetsu no Yaiba Van Presto line. So, what do you think of this GU Van Presto figure from Demon Slayer? Let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. It would really mean so much to us if you do so. If you want to support the channel, thank you very much for watching. I'm David once again, and always remember to unbox your toys!